Now let's see the next question that is question number 83. Which one of the following statement is false with respect to viability of mammalian sperm? Option number A, viability of sperm is determined by its motility. Option number B, sperm must be concentrated in a thick suspension. Option number C, sperm is viable for only up to 24 hours. And option number D, survival of sperm depends on the pH of the medium and is more active in alkaline medium. So student, from these four options, we have to select the false statement that is with respect to viability of mammalian sperm. So from this four option, in option number C, you can see that the sperm is viable for only up to 24 hours. This is the incorrect statement because the sperm is viable for not only just 24 hours but also for 24 to 48 hours. So it should be 24 to 48 hours. But it is written here that it is viable for only up to 24 hours which means this is a false statement and option number C is the correct answer for this question. Now let us see the next question that is question number 84. The extinct human who lived 1 lakh to 40,000 years ago in Europe, Asia and parts of Africa with short stature, heavy eyebrows, retreating foreheads, large jaws with heavy teeth, stocky bodies, a lumbering gilt and stooped posture was Option number A, Cro-Magnon humans Option number B, Ramapithecus Option number C, Homo habilis and Option number D, Neanderthal human So student in the chapter evolution we have discussed about this so what is the correct answer among these four option? The correct answer is Neanderthal human which is given in option number D. So Neanderthal human is the correct answer for this question. Now let us see the next question that is question number 85. In this question number 85 you can see what is the figure given below showing in particular? Student you can see this diagram. This is from the chapter reproductive health and we need to tick the correct answer which is showing in this figure. Now let us see what are the options given for this question. Option number A is tubectomy, option number B vasectomy, option number C ovarian cancer and option number D uterine cancer. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is tubectomy that is given in option number A. So option number A is the correct answer for the figure which is shown in this question. Now let us see the next question. In an area where DDT had been used extensively, the populations of birds declined significantly. It is so because option number A, cobras were feeding exclusively on birds. Option number B, many of the eggs laid by birds did not hatch. Option number C, birds stopped laying eggs. And option number D, earthworms in the area got eradicated. So student, when there is high concentration of DDT, then it declines the bird populations. How? By disturbing the calcium metabolisms in birds and thinning the eggshells and ultimately premature breakdown of eggs. And this is the reason that the bird populations get declined. So among these four options, option number B which said that many of the eggs laid by birds did not hatch. That is the correct answer for this question. Now let us see the next question that is question number 87. Given below is an imaginary pyramid of numbers. What could be one of the possibilities about certain organism at some of the different levels? Student, you can see this is a pyramid. So what type of pyramid it is? It is a spindle pyramid in which a single tree that is here it is the single tree primary producers. It serves as a food 
to large number of primary consumers and this large number of primary consumers is providing it serve food to secondary consumers and these secondary consumers provide food to very small population of tertiary consumers right now let's see what are the options given for this question so in the option number a it is written level 1 pp is people trees and the level sc is sheep option number b level pc is rats and level SC is cats. Option number C, level PC is insect and level SC is small insectivirus birds. Option number D, level PP is phytoplanktons in sea and whale on top level that is TC. So from the pyramid we have discussed that the primary producers is one single large tree that provides foods to the consumers that consumers are large in number so among these four options in option number a it is written level 1 pp is people trees and the level sc is sheep option number b level pc is rats and level sc is cats option number c and level SC is small insectivorous birds. Option number D, level PP is phytoplanktons in C and whale on top level TC. So student, from the given pyramid, we have discussed that the primary producers is a single tree which serve as a food to the next consumers. So among these following four options, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number C which state that level PC means primary consumers is insect which is large in number and level SC is a small insectivirus birds. So primary consumers that is insect and it is large in number and it serves as a food to small insectivirus birds and next this small insectivirus bird serve as a food to the tertiary consumers where the population is very low. So this is the correct answer for this question and we have discussed about such kind of pyramid in the chapter ecosystem. Now let's move towards the next question that is question number 88. Common cold differs from pneumonia in that option number A pneumonia is caused by a virus while common cold is caused by the bacterium Haemophilus influenza. Option number B, pneumonia pathogen infect alveoli, whereas common cold affect nose and respiratory passage but not the lungs. Option number C, pneumonia is a communicable disease, whereas common cold is a nutritional deficiency disease. And option number D, pneumonia can be prevented by a live attenuated bacterial vaccine whereas common cold has no effective vaccine. Student, from this following four option, you have to select the correct statement which state how common cold differs from pneumonia. So from the following four option, the correct answer is option number B, which state that pneumonia pathogen infects alveoli, whereas common cold affect nose and respiratory passage, but not the lungs. Student, this is from the chapter human health and disease. I hope you have understood this. Now let's see the next question that is question number 89. In this question, identify the possible link A in the following food chain. Plant, then insect, then frog, then there is a link which is labeled as A and after that there is eagle. Now you have to fill up this link A. Now in the question the options are option number A cobra, option number B parrot, option number C rabbit and option number D wolf. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number A that is cobra. So this is the correct answer. So after plant the plant is eaten by the insect and then the insect is eaten by the frog and the frog will be eaten by the cobra. So here it will be cobra. 
then this cobra will be eaten by this eagle. So, this is the correct sequence of food chain. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 90. Which one of the following is an example of carrying out biological control of pests or diseases using microbes? Option number A, Bt cotton to increase cotton yield. Option number B, ladybird beetle against aphids in mustard. Option number C, trichoderma species against certain plant pathogens and option number D, nucleopolyhedro virus against white rust in brassica. So, student in this question you have to select one example of carrying out biological control of paste or disease using microbes. So, this is from the chapter biotechnology and its application. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is trichoderma species which work against certain plant pathogens. This is given in option number C. So, option number C is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 91. Vidal test is carried out to test option number A, HIV AIDS, option number B, typhoid fever, option number C, malaria and option number D, diabetes mellitus. So, what is the correct answer? For which reason the Vidal test is done? Vidal test is carried out to test typhoid fever. That means option number B is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 92. Cirrhosis of liver is caused by the chronic intake of option number A, tobacco, option number B, cocaine, option number C, opium and option number D, alcohol. So, what is the correct answer student? How the cirrhosis of liver is caused? Cirrhosis of liver is caused by the chronic intake of alcohol that is in the option number D. So, option number D is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 93. Which one of the following is not a property of cancerous cells whereas the remaining three are? Option number A, they divide in an uncontrolled manner. Option number B, they show contact inhibition. Option number C, they compete with normal cells for vital nutrients. And in option number D, it is written, they do not remain confined in the area of formation. So, student in this question, you have to select the one which is not a property of cancerous cell. So, student from the following four options, you can see in option number B, it is written, they show contact inhibition. Is this a property of cancerous cell? Well, no. Normal cell show contact inhibition, right? So, option number B is not a property of cancerous cell. So, option number B is the correct answer here. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 94. In this question, it is written, motile zygote of plasmodium occurs in option number A, human red blood cells, option number B, human liver, option number C, gut of female anophilis and option number D, salivary glands of anophilis. So, student, in this question, you have to select the one where the motile zygote of plasmodium take place. So, in the chapter human health and disease, we have discussed about the life cycle of plasmodium. So, what is the correct answer here? The correct answer is it occurs in the gut of female anophilis, which is given in option number C. So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 95. In which one of the following options, the two examples are correctly matched? with their particular type of immunity. Option number A, the example is saliva in mouth and tears in eyes. The type of immunity is physical barriers. 
ऑप्शन नंबर बी म्यूकस कोटिंग ऑफ एपिथेलियम लाइनिंग द यूरिनोजेनिटल ट्रैक्ट एंड एच सी एल इन स्टोमक द टाइप ऑफ इम्यूनिटी इज फिजियोलॉजिकल बेरियर्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी पोलीमोर्फो न्यूक्लियर ल्यूकोसाइट्स एंड मोनोसाइट्स इज द एग्जाम्पल एंड द टाइप ऑफ इम्यूनिटी इज सेलुलर बेरियर्स एंड ऑप्शन नंबर डी एंटी टिटेनस एंड एंटी स्नेक बाइट इंजेक्शंस and the type of immunity is active immunity so student in the chapter human health and disease we have discussed about different types of immunity that is the active and passive immunity and thereby we have also discussed the subdivisions of it so what is the correct answer so correct answer is in option number c it is written here that the polymorphonuclear leukocytes that is white blood cells and the monocytes they are the examples and the type of immunity is the cellular barriers so this is the correct answer now let's see the next question that is question number 96 the figure below is the diagrammatic representation of the e coli vector pbr322 which one of the given options correctly identify its certain components student you can see this diagrammatic representation of the e coli vector this is already given in you know, a ncert textbook of the chapter biotechnology principle and process now you have to select the correct match which identify its certain components now let's see what are the options given for this question in option number a hind 3 e coli is the selectable markers option number b amp r tet r is the antibiotic resistant genes option number c ori is the original restriction enzyme and option number d rop is the reduced osmotic pressure so student in the chapter biotechnology we have already discussed this names these are all the nomenclature of plasmid vector so in the e coli vector we have got different types of components now you have to select the options which is the correct one now from the following four option in option number b it is written that ampicillin resistance and tetracycline resistance these are the two resistant that is antibiotic resistance gene in the e coli plasmid vector whereas option number a c and d is the incorrect statement so from the following four option the only option which is correct is option number b so option number b is the correct answer now let's see the next question that is question number 97 measuring biochemical oxygen demand that is bod is a method used for option number a measuring the activity of saccharomyces cerevisiae in producing curd on a commercial scale option number b working out the efficiency of red blood cells about their capacity to carry oxygen option number c estimating the amount of organic matter in sewage water and option number d working out the efficiency of oil driven automobile engines student from this following four option you have to select the one biochemical oxygen demand that is bod is a method used for estimating the amount of organic matter in sewage water so from the following four option option number c is the correct answer whereas rest of the options that is option number a b and d is the incorrect answer now let's see the next question that is question number 98 the most abundant prokaryotes helpful to humans in making curd from milk and in production of antibiotics are the ones categorized as option number a chemosynthetic autotrophs option number b heterotrophic bacteria option number c cyanobacteria and option number d archaea bacteria so student in this question you have to select the one which is the category and it is mostly helpful to humans in making curd from milk and in the production of antibiotics 
So student from the chapter microbes in human welfare we have discussed that lactobacillus that is lactobacillus is used to prepare curd whereas staphylococci is another bacteria which is used to prepare and help in the production of antibiotics. These two bacteria belongs to the category heterotrophic bacteria which means option B is the correct answer. Now let us see the next question that is question number 99. People who have migrated from plains to an area adjoining Rohatang Pass about 6 months back, option number A suffer from altitude sickness with symptoms like nausea, fatigue, etc. Option number B have the usual red blood cell count but their hemoglobin has very high binding affinity to oxygen. Option number C have more red blood cells and their hemoglobin has a lower binding affinity to oxygen and option number D are not physically fit to play games like football. Student we know that moving up the hills cause decrease in oxygen level and total atmospheric pressure which stimulate the juxta glomerular cells of kidney to secrete erythropoietin hormone that increases the number of red blood cells. These red blood cells are increased to compensate that supply of oxygen. So from this following four option, option number C which state that have more red blood cells and their hemoglobin has a lower binding affinity to oxygen. This is the correct answer because they move towards the higher altitudes. Now let us see the next question that is question number 100. So student this is the last question of NEET question paper 2012. So in this question it is written Monascus purpureus is a yeast used commercially in the production of option number A citric acid, option number B blood cholesterol lowering statins, option number C ethanol and option number D streptokinase for removing clots from blood vessels. In the chapter microbes in human welfare we have discussed different types of microbes and their commercial uses. Now from this question it is written that the yeast that is Monascus purpureus is used commercially in the production of blood cholesterol lowering agents. It produces statins. So option number B is the correct answer. So Monascus purpureus it produces statin which is used as blood cholesterol lowering agent. So this is the correct answer. So student this is all about the 100 questions of biology from NEET question paper in the year 2012. I hope you have understood all these questions. All the questions have come from your NCRT textbook of both class 11 and 12. So you need more practice from this two book and I hope you have understood all the chapters very clearly. So keep practicing and keep learning. We will meet you in the next session solving next year neat question papers. That's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.